Good morning, guys. I hope everybody's doing good on this Saturday morning. You may not be up yet. It's about 5 a.m. Um, I woke up and couldn't go back to sleep, so I thought I would go ahead and share a haul with you. I'm going to try to work on this glare a little bit here. Oh, yeah, that might help. Huh? Um, I've changed up my desk setup, so this that light right there is really, really bright and shines right down on my area right here. So, um, but anyway, I have a just a small Hobby Lobby haul. I ran by there yesterday to, I went by to pick up the beads here, and um, as you can see, I picked up a couple other things. So, I'll go ahead and get started. Um... I am, I showed you this mask last time um, that I'm going to do. And so I had seen these beads when I went the other day. And I wasn't sure if that was the route I was going to go. But I have decided I am. So I was going to just show you a couple of them. Um, really pretty. And I'm going to have to find something else to put them in. So it'll be easier to work with. Let's see if I can get it open here. Yes, I got it, I think. And you might see another Hobby Lobby and Michael's Hall from me later today because I think I'm going to go to another town nearby me. Their Hobby Lobby always has a great selection of um, clearance items. So, oh yeah, these are pretty. Just different... Um, sizes of little stones and I love these colors I love the shapes there's a lot of shapes so there's gold black and clear in this one um, but I've got some other colors of stuff um, that I'm going to add with it and uh, I'm looking forward to decorating that mask. It's for a swap. Actually, I'm swapping with Shaniqua. So, Shaniqua, you're getting a little look of what's going to go on your mask. Um, not the fullest price. But, um, anyway, I just wanted to pull those out and share them with you. Because I wanted to see them, too. I've not opened it. So, anyway, I will set that aside so I'll show you everything else. Um, I'm hoping to have a, a fun, crafty day because my husband's hunting today. And um, so I've got to run to the post office this morning. If you are expecting mail from me, it will go out this morning. Um, the only day I could have sent mail out was on Monday. And the post office was closed. And I say that. You know, send it out because that was the only day I had free to go to the post office. Every other day I was either working or, um, and had things to do earlier in the day before I went to work. Or I spent the day with my daughter at her doctor visits on uh, Thursday. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to go this morning and get everything mailed out. And anything I have a tracking number for, I will definitely send it to you so you can be watching for your packages. But anyway, I got this other stamp set that I thought was really cute. Um, it says, please deliver to, right here, and it's got that little envelope. And then this is like a frame to put in a dress. Uh, another frame, and it says, please deliver to. And this is kindly delivered to. Um, they say sent with love and sealed with a kiss. And I really like this right here, this frame. Then please deliver to in like a, a cursive, more fancy, kindly delivered to. And then some cute leaves there to put around an address, snail mail, and a heart. And I've been eyeing this. It's by Stampability. So it was 50% off this week, I believe, or 40%. Um, all the stamps, clear and woodblock stamps. And this one's called Mail Slash Address 16 Piece. So 
I think I got it for like six dollars and sometimes um, when Paper Studio has their stuff on sale um, you can get them for 50% off so I was real tickled to get that and then this was my big purchase but I used my 40% off uh, coupon I have forgotten about this punch it's another triple punch so you can see maybe right there you have three different sizes of punches and um, the smallest is one so that's kind of small but perfect like to hang on a small bag and then it's one and a half and two now the triple punch that I got from Paper Studio it starts at one and a half, two, and two and a half. So, and it has the scallop at the top where this has like a little fold down and kind of tuck and hook tab. So, I will show you, I'm going to make some of these and show you at the end of this video. Um, so, I'm really excited to break this out, but I did want to show it to you before I opened it up. So, um, I will be right back with this project right here. All right, see you guys in a second. Okay, guys, so I punched out these tags and I wanted you to see how they turned out. They're really cute. When you punch them, you get three different widths, as I said. This is the punch out of the packaging. So you get three different widths. You get a one, one and a half, and two inch width. And then with each width, you get a different design on the top of your tag. So on the small one, you get just a straight across design, as you can see there. And then on this one, you get a more rounded design, as you can see on the edges, more rounded. And then on this one, which is the largest one, you get like more like a, a fancier, almost scallop design. When you punch it, it gives you, um, just let me take this one apart. I don't want to tear it, so I'm going to do this. Okay. So this is how it comes out, okay? This is not double-sided paper. I thought, I don't buy a lot of double-sided paper. I love it, don't get me wrong, but usually, um, unless you buy Prima or some other specialty papers, you do not get usually a double-sided paper. Every now and then, we'll run across um, a paper pad that's double-sided, and that's really nice to have. But, of course, this isn't. So what I did was I added washi tape, okay? So, at the top, you want to add about one inch of washi tape. And uh, most of our rolls are like five-eighths of an inch. So, I just um, put down two, two rows. And then it punches out like this. You get a score line. If you can see it right there, maybe. I don't know if you can make that out or not. Maybe. And so that score line, you push the tab back, you push this over, and of course you want to burnish it well. And then this goes right in here. Just pops right in. Like that. Okay. So like I said, you get three different tags and three different sizes. Um, and this is not anything new. I, there's not a whole lot of videos on it. When you put in a search for We Are Memory Keepers Tag Punch, you get a lot of results for the tab, T-A-B Punch. Um, so there's not a lot of videos out there um, really utilizing this. So, um, you know, to me it's, well, it, to me, period, it's new because I just got it. But, um, you know, there's not been a lot of use with it or um, I'm just not finding them. So, anyway, I really like the punch. I would suggest it if you like making tags uh, or you use tags a lot in your crafting. 
Um, I think this two inch size would be perfect like for pocket letters. Now you can make these as long as you want. Um, and these other two sizes would be especially nice for uh, bags, putting tags on bags for a gift. So, uh, but like I said, even this right here is washi tape. Okay. And I thought that looked really nice with that gray. So another use for your washi tape. Um, I will do a tutorial on this just so I can put it in my series. Um, but that's it. I just wanted to share that after sharing my haul. So um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop them below. Alright guys, well happy Saturday and I will see you guys later. Thanks.